Leos! Subscribe! What up, players? Warboss Tap in this mood. Welcome to Oktoberfest, creepy, creepy Oktoberfest, where we're gonna be doing a lot of creepy, crazy things. Vampire counts, Malifaux, and just generally dark and macabre things for the month of October. So the first thing we're gonna do is a Vampire Counts Zombie Regiment. This is gonna be an unboxing review of the sprues and everything, and this is gonna be followed by a how-to war boss tutorial. So, let's break open the sprues and see what we got. Before we do that, I wanna show you what I've been doing. Some of you who've been watching my videos earlier videos might remember these guys. They've been sitting on my shelf, not really doing anything, and I've decided finally I'm gonna to add to it. Got some stray lint that's accumulated on them. So I haven't based them, I haven't really done anything with them, but these are my, I've got four zombies on each one. Is this guy popping out the ground? Is this guy pulling up these two other guys? This guy doesn't even have legs. So I'm gonna be doing a lot of these effects on my on the zombies that that I'm gonna be painting up, showing you how I did mine and what you can do for yours as well. Some of my techniques have changed since this because I'm always growing and adapting my techniques, but most of what you see here is gonna be recreated. You might notice that there is a lot of blue, dark blue coloring to the clothes, and that's because I'm the fluff for my vampire Count's army is that these are all citizens, former citizens of Middenheim or Middenland and their color is blue. So these are either state troopers or they could have been just peasants that were wearing their their city state's colors but yeah as you can see really dark and and sorry about the shaky cam really dark and gross disgusting colorizations on the skin. And here is this woman dragging the corpse of her husband behind her. And he's like, ah, I want to fight too. I've got a sword. I'm going to fight too. And this other guy is like, oh, hey, buddy. Hey, buddy, you don't look so hot. All right, so, ooh, gross. I'm going to show you how to make all this bruised flesh dripping entrails kind of effect so you can have a suitably disgusting army. So I hear game wise that these zombies aren't very good and that's sad. Hopefully when the vampire counts get a re redo then these guys will be a little bit better but you know what they, they're they still fun to paint in the box you get, a, you get 20 of them so now let's take a look at what you get in the box and the first thing is 20 bases, black plastic bases. The good thing about these ones that come in plastic bags are that they don't come on the black plastic tea sprue, so you don't have to worry about any of any any extra nubs and knobs that you have to file or scrape off. So I, I, I like it much better when they come individually packaged rather than on, on a sprue of four. Okay, so you've got one, two, three, Three, four, five, six, seven. Three, four, five, six. Looks like two, four, six, seven, eight. No, I'm sorry. You get eight of these identical or almost identical sprues. So let's see what you get. You've got torsos. This one is my favorite with the guts hanging out. Emaciated one with the ribs showing is what looks like a peasant one and another peasant one. And there's one with like the vestiges, remnants of a cloak on it. Then you've got this T piece, or this, this bar piece with hands on the ends, which is supposed to be for the banner. And a random arm. Bell. Here's a arm holding a where is it? There we go. Some flayed skin or to use as a little cymbal drum to bang on. And then you've got the arms, rest of the arms. So this one is a dismembered arm you can use as decoration. And 
and these are the arms that go on the actual zombies. You can see that some of them have sleeves, some of them are just arms, and some of them look like rotted flesh. Some of these have are holding weapons, knives, a stick here, a leg bone, and an actual lower half of a leg. Disgusting! And then here's a identical one, so we're gonna skip that. Okay, we're gonna look at this next bit of screw. So you get five torsos and five legs for every two, and this one, see there's a little bit of differentiating, uh, a little bit to differentiate them. They've got some of them look like they're really shambling along. There's nothing that looks like what I would call an action pose. Here's one that's dragging the left leg behind it. This is the coolest one because it's dragging. Looks like the left leg is broken at the knee and it's actually dragging it behind. And you've got some of these that looks like the legs are just emaciated and skinny. And here's one where it's an actual leg bone. So this maybe is an older zombie and not a freshly raised one where the meat has already decayed off of the bone, pretty much. You know what, doesn't, doesn't make sense to me. Maybe it is a recent one where maybe the carrion and some, some wolves or something got to it because this leg looks pretty meaty. This one looks just like it's just all bone. Oh, well, anyway, you got some extra guts here, entrails, that you can, looks like you can glue onto a model. Gravestones. Okay, and gravestones, these gravestones are a little bit of what I call the great unit filler controversy debate where some people are saying, hey, it's okay if I just get extra bases, put these on because I get something like three or four of these per per box, right? Because it's one every two sprues, so you get four of these. And then just stick them on extra bases and maybe put like the dismembered arm jutting out and say that counts as one zombie. A lot of people says, oh, that, that shouldn't count because you're not representing a whole model. Other people are saying it's fine, especially with vampire counts where you get to raise them pretty much round after round, so you need, you know, hundreds and hundreds of these, you need hordes of these guys waiting around. Anyways, I, I, I'm not really adamant on one side or the other. I just, I just paint the guys. So here's two heads, and I guess this is supposed to be something that you hang from the banner, but I use this to make my little mini diorama of one zombie ho um, yanking up the other two zombies off the ground. Here's what looks like a woman's head. There are a couple women's heads where you can tell because they have hair, long hair pulled back. So that was one of them. Here's just some some skulls with barely any flesh hanging back off, hanging off of it. Then you've got this little old lady with the scarf wrapped around her head, or a little old man. She's got like the scarf, the bambushka. Here's one lady with, as you can see, she's got a bun, hair bun tied back in a bun. And there's a um, guy, because you can tell he's got his tongue sticking out and he's got a beard. Okay, and then you've got arms holding lar larger weapons. So this spear, this is what looks like a halberd, a pitchfork, and a scythe. Alright, so you basically get two, four, six, seven? Sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm counting these sprues off camera so that you don't have to look at them. No, you do get eight. Okay, you get eight, eight of these half sprues. And they're all identical. And I just line them all up here, stack them all up. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna build them up and I'm gonna put them into maybe some more mini dioramas and stuff. And then we will take a look at them and we will finish up this video and we'll get on to our war boss tutorial on how to paint them. See you soon! I've got my zombies lined up here. As you can see I used a combination of various heads, torsos, arms, and weapons. And I tried to have a good mix of some of them reaching forward. Some of them like this guy. This guy is great because his head is is, is actually just supposed to be a severed head, but you can make it fit onto the body if you cut off the knob on the top of the torso, where it's supposed to fit into into the socket of the head. And I still got some old lines on his head, I see. But there you can see where the joint is, where the severed head 
I've joined it to the torso by snipping off a bit of the torso. Some I've just kind of had standing around, screaming, and some of them I have shambling forward, reaching out. And here's one where I use a little bit of the entrails and just put it on the bare torso. So now that I've got these guys all built, I don't have all 20 because I used, here's another severed head, I used four of them to make one of the little mini dioramas that I have So as, as, a, as an experiment. And then I was given four by a friend who just had four leftover zombies and I thought maybe I could use them as my test models when I first started out and so I, I liked it. So I've got these 16 left that I'm going to use and I will wrap up this video here and then I'll start a new one that is going to be just the war boss tutorial on how to paint a bunch of zombies. So I hope you stay tuned for that and I hope you stay tuned for many more videos for the rest of October. Alright, latest players!